Hello, my name is Matt Joyce and welcome to my video on developing a personal profile or what is also known as a capsule statement. So, what is a personal profile? A personal profile is a paragraph that you can use within your CV. You can use it to answer interview-based questions around, if your question is based around yourself. You can also use it in an application form. It's a very versatile tool. So essentially, what we're looking at is a statement which encapsulates what you have to offer in a persuasive way. So the first stage in preparing a personal statement or a capsule statement is to outline, or essentially to list, the three key things that you have to offer an employer. So what three things do you have, what three skills, what three attributes, what three specific pieces of experience do you think would most appeal, would be most valued by the employer who, to whom you're actually uh, applying for a, for, a, for a job, okay? Now the important thing is, with this particular exercise, is to put three things that you can, that you can evidence. It's, it's easy to say, you know, I've got great timekeeping, I'm, I'm an excellent team player, my communication skills are outstanding. Those things are easy to put, and many, many people will put very, very similar things in their personal statement. But what's going to make you different, what's going to make you stand out is those three things are things that you can evidence. Now, when I say evidence, what we're looking for is you've demonstrated that skill to a level which is above the average employee. So say, for example, we're looking at attendance. Your attendance has to have been outstanding to stand out from the other, the other colleagues. Otherwise, you know, y y your attendance was good and that isn't good enough. So it's looking at three things, ideally things, that if an, a future employer was to contact a past employer, they would be able to back that up. So again, essentially someone can contact a previous employer and say, you know, what was, what was John, what was Sue's attendance like? And they say, yeah, it was excellent. There we go, there's the evidence. You may also contact a previous employer to get them to put together uh, a statement which details your, your key attributes and what you've got to offer and basically backs up what you're saying. If you've not got that previous information available from an employer, it could be off a training course or some form of educational program. It could be through a volunteering role. It's essentially, it's, it's evidence it's somebody else to, who is able to verify that you have those attributes and you've demonstrated those in the past consistently. And that's important. So once you've got those three attributes, so by all means, pause the video and think hard about the three key things that you've got to offer a prospective employer that you can evidence. So pause the video and I'll be here when you come back. Okay. So, welcome back to the video. At this particular point, you've got the three things. The next stage is to put them into a paragraph. Okay? So essentially, if it's timekeeping. So, I have excellent timekeeping. And I maintain a 100% record of attending on time when I attended an educational training program that lasted for six weeks. You could say, for example, attendance. With my last employer, I had four years of 100% attendance. Thinking about those particular skills and particular attributes, and then putting those into sentences, and then forming those sentences into a, into a brief paragraph. What you're ideally looking for on a page of, of A4 paper is perhaps three, possibly four lines. It's something which encapsulates the specific things that you have to offer. Now, how can you use this statement? You can use this statement on a CV. So you could use it at the top part of your CV in order to draw the reader in so that they are immediately grabbed by what specifically you have to offer. You can also use it in interviews. So if the interviewer says to, says to you, tell me about yourself. Instead of telling them about your dog and your cat and your recent holidays, you've got a statement here where in around a minute, a minute and a half, 
you can get across the three key things you've got to offer. It's also a very powerful tool for using at the end of an interview. Again, just to reiterate what specifically you have to offer that employer. Remember, in interviews, people generally remember, the interviewer generally remembers what happens at the beginning and what happens at the end of the interview. If at the beginning of the interview, you introduce yourself using the capsule statement, and if at the end of the interview, you leave them with the capsule statement, it's forming in their mind the three key attributes, three relevant key attributes that you've got to offer. And really, it's just about you know, leaving that in the, in the mind of the employer. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found the, the video useful. Uh, there's other videos in the, in the series, so by all means, subscribe, check out my other videos. Thanks very much, and, and good luck with your job search.